uh, is not a coincidence. Nobody will believe uh, it just happened by chance. So most probably this is an orchestrated campaign and an answer by CCP to the increasing uh, objective articles by Western scholars on Church of Almighty God and also on the fact that the Church of Almighty God issued a very detailed report on the persecution in China with figures and evidence about people tortured, people uh, uh, died in, while in jail in suspicious circumstances. And this report was published by not only by the Church of Almighty God, but uh, at least the five uh, independent uh, uh, scholarly and human rights NGOs also published it uh, uh, and commented on their website. So that looks very much like an answer uh, by the CCP uh, to uh, this uh, the increasing uh, objective uh, attention uh, on the Church of the Almighty God and on the persecution by respected uh, uh, Western um, scholarly and human rights organizations. Concerning the accusation of uh, uh, the CCP that the Church of Almighty God is an evil cult, uh, I will start by saying that the, the Chinese word is Xie Zhao, and uh, uh, the translation evil cults is a translation used in CCP's own uh, English language media to attract the sympathy of those in the West who are against cults. But Xie Jiao is a word that appeared during the Ming era in China, and the best translation according to very respected scholars of Chinese language is heterodox teachings. Now, if we look at some of the manuals used in our colleges, uh, about the history of religion in China, we find the very clear statements uh, that uh, Xie Jiao were groups uh, the emperor uh, didn't like for one reason or the other. So the main uh, uh, standard to classify a group as uh, Xie Jiao was the wish of the Chinese emperor. And this wish was largely governed by political idea. One example, in the mid-18th century, Christianity in general was put in the list of CAGR. But then in the mid of the 19th century, because uh, China started to have commercial relations with United Kingdom and then United States, and also because particular United Kingdom was threatening uh, China, if they killed missionaries of military intervention, uh, all of a sudden Christianity disappeared from the list of CAGR. So that shows that uh, the classifying a CAGR groups the government does not approve of, it's something which started in the 17th century, it's very old. And uh, uh, the Chinese Republican government and then the Chinese Communist government inherited this tradition. Uh, of course, the only uh, uh, thing that is new with CCP is their persecution of Xie Jiao is much more violent uh, than uh, the Republican China and even the late uh, imperial China, and also that they support this persecution with a lot of domestic and international propaganda. But basically, Xie Jiao in Chinese history, uh, from the Ming to the present uh, CCP government, uh, uh, means any group for uh, whatever reason the government does not like. And uh, the Western media 
should become a little bit more smart uh, and uh, understand that there is a controversy about cults in the West. This word is no longer used by academics uh, because it's judgmental. It's a tool to criticize certain groups, but it's used in the media and uh, we, we will not quarrel uh, with this. But, uh, uh, they should understand that the notion of destructive cults or evil cults in China is some completely different from the West. And uh, Xie Jiao is very well rooted in a long uh, Chinese tradition, and so they should start translating uh, Xie Jiao or being in the list of Xie Jiao uh, simply means it's the group. Uh, the CCP government, for very different reasons, uh, uh, does not approve of.